what is up guys welcome to your third episode of these gaming tutorials in this episode I'm going to be showing you some simple terrain destruction so let's get started uh, the first sprite is going to be called sprite gun and this is just going to be a simple circle with a gun so 15 by 15 There we go. What you're going to do is crop that. Make sure to center it. What you want to do is center it around the circle so that when it comes to rotating, it rotates around the center. So we'll just put that as 8. There we go. And now, create object, call it object gun. This is going to be the first object. I think you can probably tell what it is. Assign the sprite to sprite gun. Now create another sprite and just call it sprite block. Alright, what we're going to do here is load a block from the maze platform section of what you get when you download GameMaker 8.1. And you're just going to find wall block. There we go. Well, that's the first one, but what we're going to do now is click this one that says add a sprite from file. Because other sprites in this have cracked versions of the block. So now let's just find it. Uh, yep, there we go. It's the first cracked one. I've added that. Add it again. Add the second one. Crack two. Now add crack 3, crack 4, there we go. Make sure to center the, sprite, center the sprite as usual. Now create an object, let's call it object block. Now in the create event, you want to set the image index and image speed to 0 like I've done the previous tutorials image index is the number on the uh, sprite and image speed is how fast it goes through the animation but we don't want it going through so it's, uh, we set it to zero one of the variables is going to be is going to just be uh, let's put it as x x equals zero this is going to be the uh, in fact no we don't think we need that we just set the image index that's fine so now draw that and want to put draw sprite sprite block sub image as image index comma x comma y the same coordinates that you are at sign the sprite remember to sprite block and now on your, on your gun in the create event you also want to put image index equals zero and image speed equals zero. What we talked about last time is that if you don't put this, then um, it'll carry on cycling through the image index and image speed and it'll slow down the game quite a bit. So in your step event, you want what we're going to do now is rotate the object so it points towards the mouse. So what you want to put is image angle equals point direction. X comma Y, so from your coordinates to the mouse. So mouse X mouse Y. Close brackets. What we also want to do is make it shoot a bullet. So if mouse check button pressed M B left, that's the left mouse button. Then shoot a bullet. So instance create. This is an object we're going to create in a second. At your coordinates of object bullet. So just create an object and call it object bullet. First, create a new sprite. This is going to be a 
pixel by pixel bullet. Maybe a 4x4. Four four. Just so we can see it. There we go. Simple bullet. Alright, so in this bullet we want it to follow the mouse basically. So the speed, you can just put the speeds anything, so we're gonna put his move towards oh I put my caps on. Move towards point mouse underscore x mouse underscore y and you speed and put his anything it's put it six to make it a little bit fast. Right, so the reason we put it in the create event is because if we put it in the step event, it'll continually follow the mouse no matter what because there's thir because every step there's thirty steps in a second, so it'll just carry on. If we put it in the create event, it'll only do it once, so it'll go to where you click the mouse. I've done the bullet. What to put in the collision event with object block? So we put add event and object block. Collision and object bullet. We put some more code in here. I'm going. We're going to put with other. Other is going to be object bullet because we're colliding with it. He's going to put instance destroy. Now you put if image index is below. How many images? How many images have we got for it? Five. Okay. But because we include zero, it's going to be four. So if it's below four, then image index equals plus equals one. In fact, I think it's five actually, because you count zero. Let's have a count. Edit. Yeah, zero, one, two, three, four. All right. Yep. If image index is below four, image index plus equals one. Else, instance destroy. This makes it so that if the animation hasn't finished, you're gonna increase an animation by one image. But if it has, you wanna destroy the image. So now let's just create a room. Have your player in the middle, somewhere about in the middle. Nope, that's the object bullet. Object gun. There we go. And then let's just put some blocks. Let's have a play. One destroyed, two destroyed, two destroyed, four destroyed. There we go. So this has been a, a pretty easy tutorial. No real mistakes there. It is a fairly simple one. If you do want to, if you do want me to uh, carry on with you know destructible terrain, I will. I've got some pretty good ideas of what to do next. Um, but if not, if you want to do anything else, please comment, rate and maybe subscribe if you want. Um, it's been me Ashley Phoenix and I'll see you next time. See ya.